All right, my people, welcome back. Tinubu, article spokesperson for OB on resignation call. The spokesperson of Tinubu Shetima and Atiku Okowa Presidential Campaign Council on Wednesday barreted the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, for asking aged candidates to retire from the race for the 2023 elections. Obi, meanwhile, had said at his presidential rally in Uyo Akwaibam State that weak and aging presidential candidates should have no business running for an important office like the presidency. According to Obi, he could not imagine being represented by anyone at a rally that has nothing to do with his mission to render service. But wonderful people, Obi further emphasized saying that the task of rescuing Nigeria from total collapse requires the physical energy of a vibrant candidate who can get the good job done seemlessly. Reacting to his statement, the spokesperson of the Atiku Okowa presidential campaign, Frank Shabu, said age does not represent capacity. Speaking with the punch, Shabu said a 61 OB shouldn't be referring to himself as a youth either. He added saying he should also his days period to apologize to his follower and Nigerians for not verifying the character of his campaign DG or performing any form of due diligence before appointing the same person to market his credentials as well as his anti-corruption stance. The spokesperson for Tinobu Shetima Presidential Campaign Council faced to Sukai Omon also capitated the former Anambra state governor saying he is showing a sign of uh, depression. Kayomo on today said he is already parading to sentiment. That is a sentiment and a statement that indicates he has completely run out of ideas. He is not the youngest. We shall have presidential candidates in their 40s. I can give you the names of some. Or they should be the ones stepping down for them. Okay, my wonderful people, his statement is a very unfortunate one. In fact, uh, who should or who told him he is one of the major party candidates? This is a man who is coming on the ballot for the first time. How does he know he is a major candidate? He is probably listening to the noise around him. I cannot wait for the 2023 election to come on time. By then, we will then know or uh, understand what is meant to run an election. This uh, time, noise all over the place. As I normally say, when jungle mature, they will understand. Okay, that is coming shortly from Tinebu and Atiku spoke person as they bitterly fall to Peter Obi on resignation call. My wonderful people, it has been onto this matter as there has been a mishmash between these three major political parties in Nigeria, and a lot of people are saying, Wow, what is really happening? This one counterfeiting and saying ill against their party. The truth remains that let the poor stand and face 2023 as it dresses me. Okay, let me have your take on this matter. Meanwhile, my good people, still what's happening in River State just of recent. They go, they look, we go, they go, they go, they talk, we go, they gain ground, they go, they look, we go, they gather vote, they go, they doubt, we go, they win. Well, it happened as reaction central. As the woman who hugged Peter Obe, uh, River State uh, burst into tears. Of course, the presidential candidate for the Labour Party in the person of Peter Grigori Obe has taken another grand offer. Uh, his uh, presidential campaign to the street of uh, River State uh, during the campaign, a woman was seen crying as uh, he 
hugged the Labour Party presidential candidate in a viral video shared on Twitter. Upon the arrival of Peter Obi in River State, supporters showed the praises and they showered a lot of uh, uh, incitement to welcome Peter Obi. Meanwhile, a woman who sold drinks was uh, seen uh, crying profusely as uh, she hugged uh, uh, Peter Obi in the video shared. Reactions, meanwhile, have uh, thrilled this event as people shared their respective thoughts about uh, the incident. Some said she was uh, shedding tears in order for Peter Obi, His Excellency, of course, the, imp the upcoming and incoming president of Nigeria, to show her kindness. While others said her tears were of joy and love for Peter Obi. Well, let me go for go to the comment. A lot of reactions people have really said in the play, in the show, in comment. Oh, oh, one. Okay, thank God. No tears of joy. If not, a step down ground of a company and their win. This post. Okay, the truth has been that uh, Mr. Balami, you are a good man. Thank you for standing with us. Bring this man, come Lagos. I beg you. He is waiting for his people. His people is waiting for him. God, my eyes is feared and worth. Don't describe of this uh, glorious opportunity. This is the last uh, hope of this ordinary man. Come 2023, Peter Obi, I'm already crying. As you can see the video, as you see, Peter Obi has put a human face to Nigerian politics. All right, that has been a lot of comment. Nobody go cry for this matter because it shows love. They are esteemed people. What do you think about these reactions? As street credibility are really shown right in the faces of some persons in the street, showing their love and interest for Peter. Peter will be everyone is pushing for Peter will be. That's no where Peter will be goes, and you will not hear any any might of uh, shedding tears for love, shedding tears for for this uh, un, and uh, uncommon love. I mean. Some persons have this feeling that Peter Obi is the best candidate. As long as this news is concerned, he remains the president of Nigeria as uh, 2023 draws his near. Meanwhile, upon the arrival of Peter Obi in Rivers, supporters showed praises to welcome in Peter Obi and a woman cited, spotted, so a who sold drinks was seen crying previously as she hugged her. He said, so let's say Peter will be in the video shared. My wonderful people, that is the matter with the talk so since. Well, let me have your take on this matter. On to this, okay. And Peter will be have cleared the air. He was asked why he was being busy or why he was asked why wasting time with the youth that they will should do or they will do another thing for money. Peter Obi have said at the town hall meeting today with Nigerian youth in Akwa Ibom State, Obi, the Labour Party presidential candidate, acknowledged that some people have expressed doubts about his plan to meet with the youth and have one-on-one -on -one conversation with them. Peter Obi claims he has also been warned he is wasting his time working with the young saying some of them will use the money they will re receive tomorrow to engage in another activity according to him i called you this morning peter b says because i listened to what you have said uh, some well question why did you go to bed what will you do with these uh, children they will give them money tomorrow and they will do something else everyone says that is me but i will urge them to hold on why i go speak them why i go speak to them and perhaps alter two of them i'm being open and honest with you even though there are just two of them i told uh, mr jack today to allow me to speak to them the two who will leave the meeting with the conviction that I am speaking the truth. I, I anticipate the two will understand that the position of the president demands both uh, cerebral and the uh, physical ego. Okay, it has been that uh, this man can say something that is uh, touching. God is a great affecting with never a second time. 
All right, my fellow Nigerians, uh, in dividend, uh, divided now, that is the best thing to do now in a country called Nigeria. Okay, he's talking about dividing Nigeria. But we stand for the truth. We stand for the betterment of the, the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And P2B is pushing right standing with the youth to making sure that everything work are put in place well let me have your take right in the comment section without wasting much of your time it has been so great having you right in this very channel please support us and do wait for more updates coming right from this channel thanks and god bless